Okay, very good. We're gonna do some wireless phasing. You guys do have in, the, in your system the PD800W. Some of you have it, some of you don't know about it. The PD800W we're gonna use right now for this training. All right, so when we do the, the PD800W, we have a reference probe and you have a meter probe. The reference probe and meter probe talk to each other through RF signals antenna to antenna. When you do a battery check on the reference probe, you turn it on test and you'll see the battery on the reference probe show up on the meter probe, the smart probe, because Bradley's smart, right? Okay, so there, and that proves one, the battery voltage, and it also proves that they're talking to each other. Because sometimes if you bang these up, they'll stop talking to each other, okay? So you're gonna prove that. All right, so what we're gonna do is, you can use these, these tools, the PD-800W, you can use this as a digital voltage indicator, just like we did with the VD-1000. Exactly the same. So it's a great voltage indicator. That's one function. So you got URD and you got overhead settings depending on where you are compared to the ground plane, right? But here, Bradley and I are gonna go ahead and use the tool as a phasing meter. And when you go to DEG degrees, go ahead to degrees, young man, okay? When you go to degrees, what the tool becomes is a phasing meter and it's not looking at potential. That's it, done. It's only looking at the phase angle that's being generated from that Honda generation plant that has wheels on it, okay? So it's only looking at the phase angle. If I use the reference probe on a known A phase, then that's the, that's the reference that we're using coming out of the plant first. That's zero, A. Then, then the sequence, because A is our reference, is A, B, C. So it's zero degrees. If, if Mr. Bradley touches an A phase, he gets zero because it's the same phase, it's a match. B phase would be 120 and a blue light. Then the C phase would be 240 degrees. The second phase out of sequence from the reference and you get a red light. See how that works? Zero is a reference. So it's A, B, C, B is 120, C is 240 degrees. Then we're back to zero, okay? All right, now if you're using this tool as a phasing meter and you just want to match, you don't care about phases, phases? You don't care about phases. If you get on one side the white light, because it's energized, white light is hot or not, okay? And then Mr. Bradley takes his tool, goes on the other side before he makes the tie and he gets a white light and he gets close to zeros or zeros, then he knows it's a match, same phase, regardless of phase. You just want a match, that's fine, okay? All right, so I'll put the, this reference in degrees. If that A phase is energized, we'll see a white light. Okay, white light. So we know our A is, is energized, and then we also know that we can phase transmission we could phase a 120 receptacle. We can phase uh, high side or low side of a substation. We could phase any potential using this tool because it's not looking at, I mean, it is looking at the phase angle, but not the potential. So don't care about potential. So it doesn't care what component of your system you're phasing. It doesn't care about that. It's just looking at the phase angle. Is that just when you're on degrees, Brad? Yes, sir. Setting, yeah? Yep, yep. Good question. Only when you're on degree setting does it now look at just the phase angle, okay? Which is great, because then you, you don't get confused about different potentials. It's just, keep it simple. All right, so you got it in degrees? Yeah, degrees. All right, so go ahead to the passive test point. Now the wiring in this trailer is really bad and it gets a little confused, so let's see if it works. Okay, zero is white light, okay? Come on. What phase is that? A. Remember that show? About 20 years ago? A. 
A phase. All right, go to that hot bushing. 20,000 volts, 200 volts. Don't care about potential. There you go. What's your light? Blue light. So what phase is that? E-phase. Look at that. Man. Huh? All right. Now this is where we were having trouble yesterday. Okay, go to that capacitive test point. Can you get this feel? Uh, it's starting to flicker. This is where we're having trouble yesterday. It's getting a little confused. It doesn't know if it's C phase or an A phase. Well, we know that's A phase over there. We know this is B phase, and we know we need a zero ohm extension because it's getting confused. It's too close to something. All right? All right, that's good. Good job. Now, if this reference probe was on a B phase, if this reference probe was on a B phase, B becomes our reference, right? Reference probe on B phase, so it's pretty obvious. So in that case, the, the tool is now looking at the B phase as the first, the reference coming out of the generation plant. So B becomes our zero. So if B becomes our zero, then our sequence is B, C, A, correct? So if our sequence is B, C, A, then B, is our zero, C is our 120, A is our 240. Get that? That's how it works. Pretty easy. Now, if you're out in the field, you guys do have this in your system in Casa Grande. So the base unit is calibrated to when you use a PD800W on an A phase, this is calibrated to give you the white light and zeros. Depending on the leading and lagging power factors, you could be some ticks off. Let's say you're 12 degrees. You'll still see a white light, and if you're 12 degrees, it's just telling you it's not exactly, the, pow the your power factors are off that, at that moment. But it's the same phase, all right? So that's how this is calibrated for A phase. You don't need to worry about this as a lineman as you go out in the field. All you got to do is take your PD800W, which you have already, and then you're going to get a field unit. All you need is like one field unit per service center. You could use the same base. So you can have one of these in Douglas. You can have one of these in Wilcox. You guys, you guys don't do, do you do Wilcox? Okay. You can have one of these anywhere, Flagstaff or Cottonwood or whatever. And then what you do is you get to that Timbuktu, Arizona, you make a phone call to the base, and then your cell phone, you're gonna hear the earpiece data go beep, beep, beep. You turn on Bluetooth, it links up to your field unit with you in the field, the data light goes solid white, and then this becomes your A phase reference anywhere in the field. Then you have to be within 300 feet apart of this antenna and your, P, your PD800W antenna, all right? And then whatever phase you touch, if you get a white light and zeros are close to zeros, what phase is it? Same phase, A phase. If you're getting a blue light and about 120, what phase is that? B phase. If you get the red light, 240, C phase. So you can accurately map and tag. I did training for uh, Cayman Islands. That was fun. But you know, they need, you gotta take one for the team sometimes. And they, had, they have about 60 linemen. And we did 30, I didn't want to rush it, so we only did like 30 one day and 30 the next day, and my wife came with me, that was fun. And um, so we, went, we had the PD800W, they never seen it, didn't know anything about it, and what we did is they had their service center, we had an underground cabinet and with some capacitive test points, and then we put the reference outside their service center on some 7200. And they had red, white, and blue, not ABC, red, white, and blue. And what happened is we put the, re the reference probe on the middle phase, which was their white phase. And then we, we had the, this probe here, we went in on their red and the red showed that it was a blue phase. They had a tape, red tape. It was actually a blue phase. We went to the blue and the blue was actually the red. So they had swapped it and they never even knew it for how long. 
They never even knew it. All their ties were matching all the way down, but their phase, their phase mapping and tagging was completely wrong, and they never knew it.